In this tutorial we're going to be looking at creating a simple biped character and rigging it. Rigging means attaching our geometry to the biped so that it can be animated. Usually a full character is modelled and then rigged onto the biped. Um, in our case though we're just going to take a simpler approach and produce a simple character by simply attaching shim geometry to the biped. The first step will be to create the biped. So we go into the create mode, click on systems, and then select biped for the option type. And then a simple click and drag will create a suitable biped for us to rig. I've already done that here. And I've also modeled a simple head shape, which I've placed over the top of the skull on the biped. Once we've created the geometry, we just need to use a modifier to attach that geometry to the appropriate part of the biped. To do that, we apply a modifier, so we need to go into modify mode, and then from the modifier list, pick a physique modifier and apply that to the head shape that we've got there. Once we've got that sorted, we go and click under Physique, we click on Attach to Node, as you can see here, and then select the head, press H on the keyboard to pick the object, and then we'll select BIP01 Head in my case, and then click on Pick, and Initialize. And that will attach the head shape to the head. Okay, now I've gone ahead and added some geometry. I've just created a simple cylinder for torso and put some boxy shapes over the hands and the feet just so we've got a little bit of geometry and you can see the character dance. Um, I'd expect that uh, you'll do something slightly more creative and elaborate than this when you get to do your work, but I'm just wanting to demonstrate how to do this at this stage. Now, we're going to actually do the animation by loading some motion capture files. These come with, uh, there's a, 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 seri a group of these come with Autodesk um, and you can also download them off the net and find them from different places. The file format that we'll be using will be a BIP, BIP format and we just need to use the motion section of Autodesk to import those files. Um, and make our little character do some moving around. So the first thing we need to do is to select the biped. So if I um, click in the character and press the H key um, and select BIP01, which is my biped character, it'll select that character. Now over on the right of the screen, I'll click the motion icon and that gives me my motion panel here to control motion and we're going to use the motion mixer to create these so I'll click on mixer and the mixer panel comes up I can then just import different motions into the mixer um, so that my character will move uh, one thing I want to do though is I'm going to be adding quite a number of dance steps and different motions so that can actually look quite odd if you just run them one after the other because the character jerks unnaturally between motions, jumping from the end of one motion to the start of the next. So I'd like um, Autodesk to put in some nice transitions so that the character moves smoothly from motion to motion. So this first track here, which we're going to be using to add our motions, I'll actually change that to a transitions track. So right click on that track and click on convert to transition track and that'll create a transition track that we can make some transitions with now let's just get a few motions happening here i'll right click again and select new clips from files and we can see here all my bip files organized according to folders um, you'll need to browse to yours probably and we'll just select a motion to put in there click open and put that one in place there now if I want to add another one afterwards new clip from files um, I'm just picking them at random here catwalk open 
and it will add catwalk in plus a little transition here which we can which, which will cause a smooth motion between them um, let's bug in another one um, dance hop one open and that adds that in there as well so I've got three motions here with transitions and that gives me a total length animation of about 640 or thereabouts so I can leave that now minimize that I just need to make sure that the length of my animation matches the length of my motions so if I click on here and change the end time so that it matches the uh, length of my animation it'll look a little bit better okay and you can see my characters sitting there ready to move I'll just move back a bit so we can see it better and play the motion and you can see my character going through all the motions with nice transitions okay that'll do okay so this is the final result um, I've put a hide on the biped so all you can see is the pieces of geometry that I've created and rendered that out as an animation it's pretty crude but uh, I'm really just illustrating a point for you I hope that you will come up with a much more interesting little character than this and also of course you'll need to put in a musical background for the character to dance to there are a few things that can go wrong um, sometimes for instance one body part will pass through another that can be fixed because you can edit the motion reasonably accurately um, and move things around a little bit so that it doesn't happen but if you get into a few problems with that then we can do some research and um, you can find out how to fix that um, I'll look forward to seeing what you can come up with. Hopefully it's a lot more inspired than this, and we'll see how we go. You've got two weeks to complete this exercise. See you later.